Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Proverbs 18 verse 17. The first to present his case seems right, till another comes forward and questions him. When someone comes to you and tells you their stories, their complaints, and trying to justify themselves, don't quickly make judgment. You get to know the other side of the coin. There is always the other side of the story, friends. And so don't quickly make a judgment and side with them. Because, because if someone comes forward and question them, the story might change. And that's the reason why even in the court system, there is what we call as interrogation or cross-examination. See, I can pretend to be truthful, but when you cross-examine me, it might turn out that I was lying. And therefore, friends, don't make quick judgment. Otherwise, you will find yourself in trouble. You might be siding with someone that was on the wrong. Of course, at the expense of your friendship on the other side. So, listen attentively. Not only to one person, but to the other person. See, it's even better, friends, if they, the two of them can come before you and tell them or tell you their stories rather than one by one. Because you get to reconcile the, the, the statement that they are saying. And so today we are told, don't just be fooled by the story of someone. Validate it. Amen. Ask the other person if if the story of this guy was true or not because it's there that you will come to know how you position yourself and make proper judgment especially if you are to make a judgment well friends maybe if just stories that comes it's just that decent and entertain yourself with those stories but if you get to make some judgment friends Make sure that you get the right judgment. You got the right basis for your for your decision. Otherwise, as mentioned, you'll find yourself in trouble. So again, listen to what the Word of God is telling us today. Listen to both sides. Don't just listen to one side. Otherwise, you will be at the middle. And you might give the wrong judgment to your loss you might lose both friends if you that if you make that decision but if you want to keep them well be one that will reconcile them but you cannot reconcile the two unless you hear the story of the two amen so today friends if you are in that position well be on guard make the right right judgment may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may his face upon you and be gracious unto you May he lift up his countenance on you and give you his shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.